continued protest of the starport's closure grew contentious as several terrestrial supremacist groups arrived to counter protest, said Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League. These people share the beliefs of those who killed Mayor Nightingale. They seek to provoke us. Well, the city does nothing. A masked spokesperson from Earth above all insisted otherwise. Alien pilgrimage? They want access to armed starships inside that port. Of course we're here to say otherwise. We'll keep you informed of any developments. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. Alright, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden, and today's video we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, if you notice, I did just take the assembly to get him. well, kind of weird to say, improved assembly is the assembly that we're working on now. Either it's going to let us do two assemblies at once, or it's going to reduce the time of all of our assemblies even more. Either way, we do want that because we have a lot of, we're starting to get a lot of extra agents around. Uh, especially if we get another agent to, uh, well, not to, but if, especially if we get another agent I don't think we have any more training to do, which is why I didn't take it. Uh, the only reason- Oh! Score one more kill grants the agent a free reload action. Okay, so Godmother has another one because of her, um, her last rank, basically. So we'll give her that training when she finishes this spec ops and not mess up and, um, do it in the middle of her doing that spec ops because then we'll just lose all the progress. Blue screen rounds, flex sweep, and a shot grenade is what we get from this one. I think this is probably the one that I decided on too because it gives so much stuff. Uh, although it doesn't give us anything towards the investigation. Excuse me, I think that's fine though. I think I'm going to go for this one. All of our sounds and stuff should be... Oh, we switched up a lot of people, huh? Alright, let's make items available. I think we do have an advance. I thought we did, didn't we? Hang on a second. I thought we had a special assault rifle. Do we have to manually take it off of you? Yeah, we do. Uh, you can take back the epic AR. Someone else on the team should be empty, right? I think it's Claymore. Yeah, Claymore is empty. He should be able to... Do we want to give him Godmother's uh, shotgun? I don't know. I feel like that's, that's one that could stay as Godmother's because she's definitely going to be on the team a lot more. Or maybe she's going to be off the team for a while. I, I guess, yeah, there's no point in having the weapon and not using it, because I know Godmother does have. Are there any more that are sitting around? We don't need to take a submachine gun or a pistol, because we only have one of each, so that just makes it take longer to uh, reset up for no reason. Um, it says that, are there any open activities? No, and no, okay. Now, now let's actually get into this. Uh, the special assault rifle goes to you. And then you will get the special shotgun. He doesn't use the shotgun that much, even though he does have a special one anyways. Alright, we'll give you... Are you going to be taking a lot of shots? You're going to be taking more shots than anyone on this team. So we'll give you the AP rounds. And we'll also give you the... Oh... The acid grenade, okay. Your breach weapon, you get the breach charge because you have an ability that uh, works with that. That's going to go to, um, to, I think we decided that was going to be axioms. We'll give you the targeting system and the advanced stock. No, it's not everyone else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll give you the advanced stock and no no you don't get the stock you'll get you'll get the scope you get the advanced you'll get the targeting system because when Verge puts someone in his neural network it means he has a higher percent chance of hitting them and if he can hit with the targeting system it means everyone's not getting that benefit so we'll use him as the designated marker I guess uh mockery for you many patch uh, we do want to get some med kits in here. Did you get a grenade? Yeah, you did. Is that the grenade we want you to have? We can do a gas grenade. I think the acid grenade is going to be better. Actually, we'll do a disc grenade for him. That way the ground is, uh, isn't going to be as dangerous for... Who has it? For a Axiom as he runs around out there. 
will give you the hell weave, which means reflects two to four damage to any enemy of any enemy melee attack. I'm not sure how useful that's gonna be, but we'll give it a try. We'll try it out with Axiom. Actually, no, we'll try it out with. Ooh, yeah, that's that, that's why we gave it to Axiom because she's gonna be running around way more than Axiom. She has uh, his mobility is 13, hers is 16, so way higher. And I think that's everything. It took us a while to get set up, huh? Oh. Well. We beat the hostiles to our VIP. Prep to evac. All right. And we get a lot of stuff from this mission too. Lashing through this entrance gets plus one armor for the encounter. Okay, I think we're gonna give that to Zephyr first. In so we'll give this to Claymore because we are no. We'll give this to Verge. We'll be rooted for one turn. Then Axiom. Then Claymore. Anything special during the breach? Ready patch. And then Zephyr's gonna go last so she can get the extra armor. Time that way her break. and Axiom have the most armor of the team. We only have one aggressive enemy, and it's a paladin who we can lift and not even have to work. And then everyone else is really just. You're already being lifted. We don't have to worry about your shot anymore. So we'll go for someone else. Ooh, and a cricket too. Okay. You have a 100% chance to hit them. We'll go for the 88 on the trooper, though. Should be, yeah, I was gonna say, it's a pretty high chance to hit. And he has the AP round, so it'll ignore armor. Uh, we'll have you hit the Paladin. Just because they're still at full health. And I believe they get pushed down the turn order because they got lifted as well. Good thing he was able to get behind some cover. I see the VIP. Also. Because he's Protect not going to be able to move for his to the first evac. Alright. Does that add them to the neural network? I don't think so. Oh, Verge is the one we chose to be rooted. Okay, so he still did get to move to a spot. Um, Who's in a good spot to have... Okay, you're a bomber, so you might throw a grenade or something, which would be less useful. The trooper, I think, has an angle on everybody. Same with this trooper. I think I want to do this trooper because I'm, I want them to tr maybe hit the necromancer or the paladin. But he still might just turn around and shoot that. Erasing yeah. target. Oh shit, my bad. I forgot that there's no real um let's see, three? No, two. Your thoughts. There's no gender actually applied to them. I'm just assuming that they're boys, I guess. And you number two is there. You're more likely to hit her, Zephyr, than you are to shoot at them. So we're going to assume that that's what's going to happen. We don't have a shield to give to them either, or health. This is kind of a bad mission. We did not bring the best team for this. Okay, you're only going to move. You can only do one thing on your turn. The Berserk is removed, so... That's fine, I guess. You're going to take a shot Target on... Let's just how that blew up. Good thing we they gave think the extra you armor, an appealing target. Alright. You have a turn code. Which we'll drop on you two, because you both have a good angle on a decent amount of enemies. Like the Necromancer can shoot at the bomber, and then this, this trooper has an angle on that trooper, and also the bomber. And that, and that guy too. Or you can shoot at each other, I really don't care, as long as the damage gets spread out. Alright, not really what I wanted to see. Uh, we can run you and, well actually we can just Psycho. And then we'll have you smash. We'll have you smash that. Ooh, it says it's gonna hurt Zephyr, so we wanna make sure we don't even put it in at a chance. So this is gonna kind of waste. Oh, never mind. I guess it doesn't Heading waste. Out. Although it is annoying. Annoying. Annoying that it missed. Oh, we didn't even look at the bomber, actually. Well, Zephyr has her turn before the bomber, so maybe we can use that turn to do something about that. But fine. It didn't hit bone. You are still up. Good. Okay, Sticky Grenade has a very low chance of hitting anybody of ours. It has the lowest chance of hitting them. Shrapnel won't go far enough. Plasma Grenade also won't go far enough. Alright, so we'll move you... Man, we'd have to dash to get you nowhere close enough. 
forgot how low of a mobility he had. It's been a while since we had him on the team, too. Maybe if we move him up to here, he'll be able to hit them. That's who I want to hit with the sticky grenade. Because there's a very low chance they're going to run all the way up to Axiom and blow up, and that's their closest target. That's, that's perfect, actually. Right there? Yeah. I forgot that blast padding, though. And, okay. I forget that she had that move in this save. So we put her right here. So she might kill the bomber and she'll absolutely take she out the trooper. Close. So this is what we want to do. Either way, she will have cover from the trooper. But the trooper might be sent to down. throw a bomb. Never mind, don't have to deal with it. I don't even mean to say trooper either. I meant to be saying um, the bomber. Alright, you can use Mind Flay and take out both of them. So we're going to do it. My mind overwhelms me. And those two are Multiple out. Hostiles are they down. unconscious or killed? Can't tell. Oh well, not really my problem. I don't think we're taking... No, in this one we do take a lot of uh, people. Don't know why that blew up. Yeah, definitely don't know. Move you over to here. I'm finna dash Claymore out because... I, I just have to, man. There's no way he's getting anywhere without it. And we'll just uh, we'll just end your turn. Claymore's gonna get dashed. That's already blown up, so we don't have to worry about that exploding. Uh, I don't know why these cars are just blowing up. What the worse. fuck? What am I supposed to do there? Why did, why did the car blow? I don't think anything happened there. Failure to complete mission objective is not tolerated in City 31. Contract with the reclamation agency is terminated effective immediately okay i guess restart the mission that's annoying it doesn't even make sense on why that blew up for whatever i guess we'll do it again damn i did not expect that either maybe that's why it's so uh, upsetting we'll still send you through first you two and then zephyr we shall move in and we're going to again levitate you. Take the shot on the necromancy. I don't think it did the same amount of damage as it did last time. We're going to spread the damage this time. We could take them. We pretend if we crit, we'll take them out. We didn't crit. That's fine. And then we'll go for the Necromancer with this one instead. Do something different. If we did the exact same thing, it'd be no point, right? And then Axiom's up first. Or is it Verge? It's Verge, isn't it? That's yeah. the VIP. Escort to the evac zone. Okay. I was gonna say I can't have a turn with them, so let's do something else. Uh, and we wanted to do the number. It'll highlight it when I get to it. Can we not see them? Yeah, okay, there it is. The number six trooper is the one we stupid last time. So maybe well, not stupid, but um, we can do the necromancy. Maybe we should do this trooper. They might go for the necromancer. If they take out the necromancer or the paladin, either way, it's not bad. As long as it kills something. It could turn in, yeah, that's, that's another thing I thought it would do. Although that did more damage than the last time. Uh, and you can use stupor on number, number one, I guess. We don't want them to really get a chance to do anything at all. Give me your mind. And the, a level two stupor though, that's different. That's, that is what we want to see, too, because they won't get a turn. Um, eight, three. I'm not putting you by no card. Actually, hunker down. Just stay right there. So that was some bullshit. Just blew up the card for no reason. All right, Berserk removed. You're not going to move. Probably going to shoot at Zephyr, right? Yeah. Obliterating. Annoying, One but slimy down. not that bad. Now you pay it back. Um... You can use Psycho. On the edge. And then you're gonna go for. Who can you reach? You can reach the number. Can you reach number two? No, you can't. But you can use Smash on number five. 
What about number four? Nope. You can use smash on number five. And you have a pretty high Making chance waves. of hitting it. Too. Hostile cool. off the board. And you're probably gonna take another shot at Zephyr, I assume. You're trying to leave? What are you doing? Can't tell. Oh, you're taking a shot at accent? Angry uh, hit? Flesh wound. Keep going. Does he preserve? You can do this. Okay, Claymore. Stick your grenade on number. Not eight, because they might move up. You're not gonna move at all. So what we'll do is stick your grenade on number the ten. Day. That's that's the best move we right there. It was a Deflected critical explosion the on them, which is interesting. Oh, that ends his turn though. Okay, I should have did something else first. Another shot on Zephyr. Interesting explosion. Hit, but still standing. All right. You can use crowd control out here. Actually, use this on him. Okay, you can't. Do it. Um, okay. You can take a shot. I'm the trooper, you might take them out. You have a good chance to crit, too. Yeah, let's go for that. Damn! Ooh, that looked bad. Just folded him over the back. Okay. Now... We'll do... We'll do it from right here. Bring you down. That way she still has cover. We'll put you, we'll make you parry. Because she's likely to get shot from them. If they even hit though, because they are disorientated. Would it make sense to, okay, yeah. That's fine too. Alright, so now you can use Battle Madness on number five? Yeah, and five Enemies might take all out around number three. Ah! Yeah. Engaging target. Now they missed. That's fine though, because we can use mind flight and take out. We can use mind flight and take out both of them, right? Or we'll do. We'll kill them and then do a bunch of damage to the other one. Oh, it did. One less hostile. Okay. No, it didn't. It only did two. Now it's this thing's turn. Thing. This uh, guy's turn. We'll move him out and up to this point. Axiom should be able to take out the number three character. Uh, smash on number two? Nope. We'll use, I mean, we can shoot them also. Doesn't really matter at this point. The shot will do six to eight damage. So if it hits, it kill. Yeah. isn't moving. And they got shredded too. Nice, it does. Okay. Who are you taking a shot at? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Alright. You can get dashed up. This is already blown up. I think this car... Okay, well that car's not blown collection. up. So we can move the guy up to there. And we can have you use Crippling Blow from here to take Shattering. them out. Should have used the heal press, though, but whatever. Smash the hostile. Surgical. And we'll put you in parry. Um, will you move you up to here, Verge? And then we'll have you Overwatch. Actually, if we put you in Overwatch right here, if nothing comes see. through this yep. entrance, and if anything comes through the far one and moves you shoot, up, I'll scoot. then it should be fine. Uh, if we put them there, they'll probably be able to uh, move up, move out on the next turn. Low on ammo. Uh, we'll have you. We have you Overwatch. Actually, we move you to here. Make a hole. He might be able to Overwatch through the car. I'm not really sure. No, he definitely can't. Well, we'll assume that they move sideways and get into cover right there. And. 
I'll put you. Oh, you have running gun because you have godmothers. Uh, shotgun. Okay. We'll move you up to here. We have that door. We have that door. Is there another one over here? There is. I mean, we barely have the far one though. So let me take Watching that my back. zone. And then Zephyr, you can move up to here and then go into preparation. No, we'll we'll have you heal yourself. That way you're ready for the next uh, set of enemies while well, we're still trying to get this dude out of here. And that's it. Oh, never mind. We can prepare still. Yeah, that doesn't take a turn. So preparation. I forgot we had adders. Or is that an adder? Don't miss? Cool. Ah, yeah, that's right. You should do armor, too. Okay. Battle Madness on the Legionnaire. And he might turn and shoot. I think it's an adder or a python. What is it? Yeah, okay. I don't know. It didn't show the shot that we took on them. If we took a shot? No, no, never mind. It's just like how much damage that did. My bad. Completely. I forgot we even did that as soon as it started. We use Mind Flay right now. We can take them out completely, which we'll go ahead and do. I don't know why it does this bar three. I don't think that, that he's healing from it. Tag the hostile. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. E back. The adder's gonna move up and then get shot. Right? Damn, he really hopped up on there just to shoot them. Target kill. This man is really brutal out here for nice no tally. reason. All right. Need to reload. Forgot we even failed this mission at first. Coming through. Keep moving. All right, you can heal yourself first, even though it doesn't really matter, and then get out. Claymore might get stuck here. Actually, no, we can move Claymore all the way up and then use um, team up to get him another move. So we're, we're all gonna get out on this turn. Also, we don't have reinforcements yet until the end of Claymore's turn. So we're able to take them out pretty efficiently. Move Claymore up to there. Verge actually might not be able to get out in time. I didn't realize how far away he- No, never mind. He's gonna catch all the way up to Claymore. Who we're supposed to use team up on, but whatever. Really, whoever gets that turn first is gonna, uh... Finding use... a better spot. Actually, no. We don't even have to do that. Yeah, we don't have to do that. Hello? All right, back to the video. So I'll probably just silence myself for the last little bit. I got a phone call. Uh, looking to rent a boat, care to tour the hydroelectric plants that keep City 31's lights on? Or perhaps you're simply here for the fish. Whatever your reason, Angler Point has active activities to fill your day and food, and food to fill your stomachs. City 31 Tours Council. So we got a blue screen, we have blue screen rounds, so I don't know which, what are, flux weave and a shot grenade. Over a dozen were injured today before 3-1 PD could break up protesters clashing outside the starboard. Commissioner Maloof condemned the fighting. Of course protesters should speak their minds. We won a war for that privilege. But 3-1 PD will not tolerate violent protests. Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League issued a statement. We follow your rules, and yet only mutons were injured today. If 3-1 PD can or will not protect us, we will protect ourselves. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. So I guess that's similar to, like, the Black Lives Matter movement, I guess. Not necessarily, though, because... Oh, that's Field Team Assault, so I kind of have to do this one. But it does kind of make sense because you only really hear about black people being killed by the cops just like the mutons were the only ones hurt by the cops in this instance. Like even if it's not 100% true and there's some order, other... Uh, the starport ooh, increased not today as not muton protesters arrived with what appeared to be clubs. Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League bristled at the suggestion. These are tools for fixing starships. They are spiritual implements, not weapons. A leaked video from Earth Above All seemed to urge escalation. If they swing at you, it's their ticket back to prison. Wear thick padding, provoke verbally, and make sure it's on camera. We'll keep you informed of any developments. 
This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. Sounds like a lot of stuff is heating up between the mutons and the um and the cops. Maybe that's why everything is moving up. It's basically it is sounding a lot like these are the guys that we've been looking for this whole time. Um, so we'll put you on freeze. And this is minus one day to the investigation. Oh, that's plus two, you're real, minus one in the area. This is going to be plus one to the investigation. A plasma grenade. I don't know if we need a plasma grenade. We don't need more stuff anymore. All right, hang on one second. Getting another phone call. Hello? Pretty good. Okay. Oh, I can't do it right now. <laughs> I'm still recording that video. But go ahead and explain it. Okay, I can get your ID from a, um, from an email you sent. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll do that when I uh, finish this video, and then I'll text you when it's done. No problem. Bye. All right, so this is the mission that we're gonna do then. It seems like it makes the most sense, although we don't need any more Illyrium is the only thing. We're getting a lot of it for really no reason. Uh, did we finish that uh, thing or do we have one day left? We do have one day left, okay. Uh, terminal is idle, we have new supply items. Oh yeah, so assault rifles. Okay, I don't think Bridge even shot a bullet though, is the funny part. So we'll send the APC here. Uh, we have one idle agent because we don't have enough stuff for our, our agents to do yet. Maybe we should put her on the team, though. No, because I think Zephyr is someone who's close to getting the thing. Spike mercenaries are present on this mission. All right, let's go into this one. Oh, did I mean to do that now? Do I have time? I should have time to finish this one. And then in the next mission, we'll do the Friendly investigation. VIP ahead. Check your fire. All right, breach mode. This is a keypad door. Can he scream through this one? He can't, it's not a normal door, I guess is why. So lashing it through this entrance will be rooted. We can negate that with Zephyr. So we're gonna do it that way. Verge and then Zephyr. Keep behind me. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. How many people do we have that are violent? It's only one person who can try to, okay. And we're guaranteed to hit right now on two of these enemies. Alert? The trooper is alert. We could start doing damage to them or we could start doing damage to the bomber who has a bunch of armor. Who has the AP rounds? Is it is it him who has the AP rounds? I cannot remember. Although, why is it not saying someone else? Oh, no, it's the same person who's alert. And we're gonna lift the person who's aggressive. Okay, you do have the AP round, so I need to remember that. You're gonna get lifted. And then Zephyr is going to go for the... Go for the trooper, that way we can get some damage on them too. And we might be able to go in front of some of these people since they are surprised. She did take cover from the bomber, so that's pretty good too. She doesn't have armor from... Not armor cover from the uh pipe spotted the vip so that might you be are go for rescue so we're go for rescue uh i'm gonna use this Amped up. and then just psych up a bunch ready for action and keep going right wired up who wants some get him up to yeah okay, we can get him up to five and then i'm gonna send him on, on number the edge. 
Oh, do I do it faster than the animation? Okay. So can we reach the number two guy? We can. We'll put him all the way back here because he's probably gonna rage right after this, right? They're stunned for sure, so that takes them out of the turn order. Oh, he has another action available too, which we can use to hit. Hang on, let's see. Which number are you? We'll hit you. Uh, never mind, because he might he might rage and hit the um the VIP, which we don't want. So number nine, the Python, then is who we're gonna go for. We just take them straight out. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I like that. You're gonna take. Never mind. Tougher you're gonna take by her first. You will get them next time. I'm gonna shoot him Fine. in the back. Which didn't hit bone. Keep going. Kind of dangerous. You can do this. I'm gonna say plasma grenade. We can drop that. Actually, we can have him running gun. Take an action after dashing. We'll have him running gun up to... Actually, there's no point. Damn, I already clicked it though, didn't I? We'll have him go up to here. Wrong button. Moving. Check your fire. And then you can throw a grenade from here, can't you? Yeah. Hopefully this won't end our turn though. Throwing plasma. That's the only thing that I might do since it is an action. And that's maybe not Clearing the action? board. Oh, it doesn't. So that's even better with him. So those two are going to share a gun then. Claymore and uh, Godmother. Drop the target. Yeah, because they can get some pretty good damage off doing that. Probably gonna go for yeah, one of these is what I expect. Ripped right through me. Five damage through the armor? God damn. Uh, I guess that's not the worst. Battle madness. Show on them you. how you feel. And we can maybe do some damage on what is that, a trooper over there or something? The necromancer. Never mind, you killed it straight out. Didn't even have to worry about it. So we'll do mind flay. We have nothing else to do with it. I guess we could have taken a shot too, which would have done some more damage, but oh well. And then we'll have Zephyr run in and do a crippling blow. And then we'll use her movement with um Smash the momentum. Excellent. To secure the VIP. And they'll get a move right now. We, ooh, we can't get the VIP to any good place with cover. We'll put him right here. That way he has cover from that door. And then with everyone else. We'll, okay, through the glass. No reason for it, but whatever. Alright, we'll have you overwatch Anything this door. Moves. We'll have you. Okay, that's gonna go off before that can. You can Overwatch in here. Hostiles will not get through. And then Verge, you can Overwatch on this door and actually take a shot too. And then we can have you make another dash backwards. I did. I did see that he did get a turn. I didn't pay attention to that. I read that wrong. Although. It looks like I put my uh, overwatches in the right spot. Kill him out? No, he's not gonna kill him out, is he? No, he's just gonna do a lot of damage. I, I didn't even. I don't think a paladin has done anything yet. Did I kill him straight out? All right, cool. So a lot of kills off here. And you're going to go ahead and take them straight out too. Still not gonna see what a paladin does. Not necessarily a bad thing, really. I mean, I guess you can say it's a bad thing because it's him, but it's a good thing because we don't want to take that damage. We can get everyone out right now, too. So, uh, a fairly clean mission. We took a little bit of damage with uh, the two of them. Uh, Axiom and Claymore. Not the worst that could happen, though. Claymore can actually get out here, too. It's not too far from him. Funny how we're finna let all of our, almost all of our team out before we let out the VIP. Repositioning. But as long as the jog gets done right, and it put in a spot where I can't fuck this up like I did with Sheriff that one time. So there's that too. Transferring. Evac. Yeah. 
All right, we got everyone now lightly wounded. We only got one, uh, I keep wanting to say hostage, but that feels like the wrong word. Uh, whatever, I guess. We brought, we lowered a lot, only that one went up by two. It must have went to Friday, right? The tech that caught the interest of Gray Phoenix is the kind XCOM used to pull from alien starships. Locate and neutralize their starship tech. The damage they could do to City 31 is incalculable. This is interesting. Because it is a lot of, um, I guess, XCOM hey, created. Read my mind lately? You know I would never do that. How would you know? I know, unless you read my mind. Because I am your squad mate, and you trust me with your life. But you could have programmed me to think. <laughs> no one can program a mind with such complexity as yours. Ah, uh, Verge. Sometimes I think you're the only one who truly gets me. I know. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so we can put two people in here now. We also have an upgrade for Zephyr. I want to see what she gets. I'm most interested in her stuff. Ooh, Zephyr enters Reaper mode. With Reaper active, downing enemies with melee attacks grants an extra action. Each subsequent melee attack has reduced damage. Four turn cooldown. That's not bad. Although, that tells me exactly where I went wrong. Because we want her doing more damage, right? So then the pressure points will increase the damage that she does. And then, what is this? Melee attacks will ignore armory? So yeah. Next time we do a playthrough, I'm still gonna get Zephyr for sure. I wanna try. I wanna try out the other players. I'm definitely gonna play this game again for the channel. Try out the other um, characters that we can pick, because all the ones that I picked in the campaign here are the ones that I picked in the campaign that I play in my free time. That way, I didn't start trying to develop some type of tactic with them or something else, not tainting content for myself, basically. But I have been tainting myself in the sense of checking out other abilities. So I did check this one out definitely the better of the two i feel because it's active more often and you can take people out easier this one's like having overwatch for zephyr but it only works if you're right next to an enemy uh and i guess if you don't kill an enemy and they try to run away it does too but i feel like these two are going to be better especially knowing what this last ability is now so it's going to be a bit of meta gaming in the next one which is just knowing what's coming next kind of is how it's going to make sense here and let's see what you get oh you're fi finished too uh, shrapnel bomb and sticky grenade do plus one damage and do not automatically end the turn. Uh, shrapnel bombs can now be used more than once. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All right. Um, and we have this now too. We don't need to do improved training. We have improved spec ups already. So in the next episode, we're going to do recon android factory and get that figured out. I might... Uh, Dragnet that too just to get that extra money. I'm not sure if I need it anymore. I think I'm at a point where I really don't need those things. And we're gonna finish our Spec Ops missions too. Um, and once that happens, we want to put in once she finishes hers, agents earn 30% more XP on missions for the next five days. We want to put in everyone that's new or everyone that's not leveled up already that we're interested in. I'm not going to put in Patrick still because her ability just doesn't have as much use there. Um, but I'm definitely going to put Chero back in. Uh, and I guess Terminal. Chero and Terminal are going to go in. Because they're the last two who aren't fully leveled up who would make sense to see. And then Zephyr and Axiom are going to come out. No, Claymore. Have my Mars on it. But that's going to be all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to follow all the socials in the description down below. Uh, yeah, like I said, I will be playing this game again, but doing a little bit different stuff and checking out the other characters. Maybe I won't do a full playthrough that time, but I do want to see the other people and maybe see if I can uh, do it a little bit cleaner. Although I am doing pretty good this time. I did fail a mission, though, so that's a blemish on our record. Um, but thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.